So when you when you go to this URL and you will see the so WordPress default uh default template template thing. You may you go you go inside the backend wp dash admin you you, you type or oh, you may have it. So you go inside the backend in at the at the WordPress admin. So you give it you give it, you give your username and password. So this is this is dummy one. So you can you can hack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do not hack. So this is the for WordPress backend panel. So you 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 may be familiar with it. But if you go inside the plugin, if you go inside the plugin, so we see, we see, we see this guy. So this is our plugin. So so we'll be, we'll be developing this one. Currently we are, we are at the, we are at the, we are. So you look at our Git and we, we are at the plugin template and that's why we are seeing we are seeing this one so we activate the plugin so you need to activate the plugin and it will activate your plugin and then it will it, it will pop up in here normally yeah that's good normally that's what should be seen so that's our initial step if you are if you are working for the plugin development, you just download it and then you check out you check out this guy. I mean zero one plugin template and you change the name and then it will become your plugin. So so template is ready for you if you are if you if you need it. So so we will be check out this guy. We will check out just copy. I just it check out so it should be one word and because that's that one is the finished version so we, we complete project so we check out that guy and then you check you check by git branch git branch sorry ah oh, span Git branch and then you you see the do you see the stars and then currently you are your your git head is pointing at the uh you are zero eight so that's uh, the last one that's a complete project so we we will go inside so you go inside the plugin and then refresh we make sure you are same on Google Lunch Google Line chart so that's our plugin. So you refresh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's loading, loading, loading. Come on. What are you doing? Okay, let me see. Something's not right. So you might not see similar to similar to this one, but you might you might not have the data because I I haven't delete my I haven't delete my I my TV yes and my data I haven't claimed my data so you won't see you won't see at this one you will see this guy and a blank so that's normal so we we're, we're sorted by uh just ignore this one so we were sorted by going to plugin. So you go back to plugin and then deactivate if you didn't see that one, because we finished project you will see exactly as that that one. So you deactivate it and then is this one this guy gone? So the guy was gone, and then we activate it again. So 
so we activate it and then it's pop up here again so you will be seeing similar but but you will be seeing only general general to that decimal so so you will be only seeing 12 data so that's the this is the default data so we because we act when we when we deactivate we we, del, we remove all the data and we remove all the table so that's why that's why this is the default one if you see if you see this one that's good uh if you're seeing you may not be see, seeing similar to mine because i changed something at the back end so we'll be we'll be doing we'll be we'll be i'll be showing how to do it so currently you can add the data so you we we can do all sort of operation inside the database so we say delete me immediately one two three four and add new and then we use the booster for form validation and then at the back end so that's that may be that may be what we you will need so this is our guy so we we add it here and then if you go to next page or down there or you can go by anywhere you can you can type your page name in here i believe you can type here as well so this is our guy so we delete and then so we can edit so we don't want one two three four we want maybe nine maybe almost ten thousand so we got the good say of that lockdown Say boom after lockdown, so we got we almost hit ten thousand. That's good. So you you see that we update we can update the data and then so we we decided we don't need that guy and then you can delete any of those. I don't want to confuse with the default data, so that's why we add. You can see the details and then you you can click delete. That guy should be gone. Okay, we, we please forgive me for tidying so you can. That's your challenge. Ch change your uh, change this title to delete deleting data or something like that. So you can delete it, and then it came back to the main page. Oh, sorry. And then that guy's gone. So these are the crew operations. So so if you go inside the, hopefully, that guy stay here yeah you stay there so these are the table the wordpress uh these are the this current website tutorial so that's the wordpress wordpress table and then we create a custom table and then so you look at here and then we have a integer and then it's a primary key and then auto incremented this is the month so the month is vacha and then you use vacha because we don't want to we don't want to take a space for every line and then and then we can have a that's the maximum amount of decimal number you can get in my sequel I, I think you may you may get more than that if you are if your computer has higher precision or uh, floating points but kindly this is what we are allowed to do that so you can you may change it this guy doesn't matter those 16 digits so that's a lot and two decimal point after that so these are our guy and then we'll be we'll be developing step by step and then we'll be jumping all over the place and then and then and then that's how you you get in so if you if you don't if you just refresh if you want to do if you want to do if you want to get so get branches from the remote repo ah oh, sorry i need more coffee i'm drinking so so that's 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 it that's our main remote so you can type and then if you want to check out the remote repo to you are git look at git look at git branch i uh, Give flash origin origin and then you copy one of those one of those name don't put origin because we already have origin and then put the column and then you you paste 
and then and then you check it by git branch so so if you want to so we we are the head is at the 08 branch and then if you want to go back to 02 branch git checkout git checkout and copy this guy we already copied it i believe yep so git checkout and then you check it by git branch so we are heading to by branch number two and then you refresh your your plugin so we are same at the plugin and then you see so so that's a that's a javascript that's a loading javascript from your local javascript nah, it's not local it's a plugin javascript so you will you will be seeing that so this is the default one so we'll be going step by step and then if you are if you want if you don't want to type and then if you if you don't want to do something i mean if you if you just want to see something i'm typing and then if you want to follow along without typing so you can utilize the git so git git branches you know so it's it's lightweight and then it will be i will be using exactly same as the 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 this i git branches and then exact exact name and everything and then you can follow along with the branches and then you will be seeing what's going on and then and then you may do everything by yourself after this tutorial so so this is how we use git and then that's how you can use git and then hopefully it's helpful for this project and then we'll be we'll be utilizing what we have as a as a double over you know you you need to so so if you just want to watch what i'm typing so this is your your chance and then that's how you can do that hopefully it helpful to you and then bye for now and then stay tuned for the next tutorial